Hi everyone, Wallace with your Monday video. Today I'm talking about um, a nonfiction book. One of my favorite things to do at Barnes & Noble is to walk around the bargain area because I always find something, whether it's fiction, nonfiction, um, some sort of activity book, something. I always find something that I would have never found on the shelves because I wouldn't have been looking for it in its regular category on the shelf. So I love, love, love Barnes & Noble's bargain section. If you've never walked by it because you just thought those are the, the bad books, like just walk through and just look at the books and see what's there. You might you might be surprised. As I am nearing my later 30s, I have started caring a lot more about um, not just health because I, I cared about working out and stuff before. I have not gotten back on that bandwagon since having Smith, which is something that I need to do. Um, for my health, for my joints, for my muscles, for my just skeletal structure, for women, for osteoporosis, it's important to be doing something active. There's just so many reasons why exercise is good for us, but that tends to be the thing that we go to the most just because it's also how we look. And I'm really interested right now in what I can do for the inside of my body, if that makes sense, like disease prevention, including, um, neurological diseases, which we don't know, I guess, enough yet to know if we can prevent them and so how genetic they are. But we do know that there are certain things that we can do, even if we're predisposed to diseases, to help stave them off um, or even possibly prevent them. And so I'm interested in that, not because I'm particularly worried about any one disease, but mostly just because I also think that if we're looking towards the future of how we treat our bodies then and our inside of our bodies too, then um, we're bound to be happier people in the present if we're healthy, you know? One of the books that I found in the bargain section is called Reboot Your Brain and it's Diet and Lifestyle Techniques to Improve Your Memory and Ward Off Disease. The interesting thing about this book, I haven't gotten very far, but it's I'm really into it so far. I don't know that I'm going to be taking all the supplements and whatnot that this person is talking about, um, but I do like the beginning part that talks a bit about just brain structure and like simple things that we can do to revitalize our brains, like shampooing with your other hand, you know, like things that like I'm a righty, so like doing anything with my left hand feels so out of sorts. And the fact that it feels so uncomfortable means I should probably be doing it a little bit more. Or doing something with your brain when you would rather turn on the TV, like maybe knitting or doing something with your hands that's gonna cause your brain to have to keep track of something and like, and problem solve something. And you can still relax because something like knitting is a relaxing hobby to have and you can do it with the TV on, but it's not just mindlessly tuning out and not using your brain at all. Reading obviously is good for your brain, and if you're watching this, you're probably a reader. I also decided to do, one of the things that he recommended was crossword puzzles, which I think most of us know crossword puzzles are good for our brain. But I'm terrible at crossword puzzles. I'm so bad at them. So what I did was, um, I, they were a bunch of these at Barnes & Noble in the bargain section. And by the way, this is not sponsored by, Bar by Barnes & Noble. I just, I'm saying it a lot. Um, and there are lots of these in the bargain section. So if you're like, I'm not into crosswords, whatever, but if you want to try it, this one happened to be $8, but it's pretty thick, but they had little thin ones that were just a few dollars. Um, if you want to try them, but just a good place to get some cause they're, they're less expensive. Um, this one is like 10 minute easy crossword puzzle. So I flipped through it before I bought it just to make sure like, okay, I think I kind of know some of these clues and I can do it. So now I'm kind of obsessed with it. I love doing my crossword puzzles. I don't get a lot of time to do them, but I really, really like doing them because it feels so satisfying when I get them. I do them in pencil. Like I'm not like, you know, I'm not a pen New York Times crossword puzzle person. I'm just trying to use my brain a little bit. So anyway, there are plenty of tips and it's not just a tip book. It's actually like a really interesting brain science book. Um, but it's not gonna be, it's not super, super heavy, at least not when I've got the point that I've gotten to. Um, it's more like, you know, they have nice bolded sections, makes it easy to break up and read. They have lists of things that you can read. Um, charts are in here, just teaching you about your brain and what you can be doing to keep your brain young and supple and working. 
uh, which I think is something that we probably all want. So if you have any of these kinds of books that are just like educating you about your brain and how you can keep that active and supple, I don't really know the other word, well, I got the right word for brain, um, for what you would do to your brain to keep it using, you know, plasticity, is that what it is? Um, if you have some favorite books, put them down below so the rest of us can see. And until next Monday, happy reading.